Welcome. Here is a rundown of war in Ukraine. Russia's General Armageddon under pressure following Kherson retreat. One of Russia's top generals is under pressure after arguing for forces to retreat. Sergei Surovkin, nicknamed General Armageddon by Russian media, recommended Russian forces retreat form Kherson and the west bank of the Dnipro River on November 9. He argued the withdrawal, completed two days later, would allow Moscow to save equipment and redeploy the forces there estimated by the US to be 30,000 strong to offenses elsewhere. The 56-year-old veteran of wars in Chechnya and Syria, who has been decorated by President Vladimir Putin, is also being asked by some to step up Moscow's bombing campaign of Ukrainian energy infrastructure, a tactic the Kremlin has suggested is designed to bring Ukraine to the negotiating table. But some in the country believe he is being set up as a potential fall guy to insulate Putin and Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu, should the campaign continue to go badly for Moscow. Belarusian leader Alexander Lukashenko claims Poland missile strike was intentional provocation against Moscow and Minsk. The missile attack in Poland last week was an intentional provocation against Moscow and Minsk, Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko has claimed. In a statement today, the Belarusian leader said the Polish and Ukrainian authorities needed an escalation. They got into hot water and are now trying, like sneaky thieves, to have this subject closed. It is no longer discussed even in the West, Mr. Lukashenko said at a meeting with the head of the Udmurt Republic, according to the Belarusian news agency Belta. They, both Poles and Ukrainians, regret it was not a Russian missile. They needed a provocation against us, they needed an escalation. And Ukrainians evacuated from Kherson amid blackouts. Ukrainians were pictured boarding the Kherson Kiev train at the Kherson railway station in southern Ukraine this evening. Ukrainian authorities are evacuating civilians from recently liberated sections of the Kherson and Mykolaiv regions, fearing that a lack of heat, power and water due to Russian shelling will make conditions too unlivable this winter. The move came as rolling blackouts on Monday plagued most of the country.